I can't believe we're already in March. It feels like this year is flying by, and it's almost been a month since Rockstar officially confirmed Grand Theft Auto 6's development and that it was well underway. And now fans are just wondering, well, when are we going to get anything next from Rockstar? And it has the speculation growing and building, and it makes you wonder if this will be the month, because up until now, all it has been are rumors, leaks, speculation, information from insiders and journalists. Well, that's kind of what I want to talk about today because one of the big things about GTA 6 before Rockstar confirmed its existence was what its codename project was going to be, and that was Project Americas. And I would say if we were to rank the Grand Theft Auto 6 leaks by what's the most verifiable and real, it kind of sounds like this is the one. So on the GTA forum site, Insider Tez Funds 2, was responding to someone that said this, if we consider the 2016 tech radar leak as real, Rockstar didn't even figure out what the next GTA's location would be at that time and was just beginning preliminary work. GTA Online was already bringing in copious amounts of money in 2016 through 17, so whatever they planned back then already had online in mind in some way of form. So I honestly don't get where the reboot rumors are coming from. With Tez Funds 2 saying, the America's piece of text within RDR2 files kind of disputes the tech radar leak. I just checked, and that piece of text was placed at the very end of the script stats file, as if there were would have been more stats listed below. Yes, it could refer to RDR2, but RDR2's code name was Project Remorse. If that piece of text was added in 2016 or 2017, then Rockstar would have already decided the next GTA's location by then. Also, I don't think added is the accurate term. There's a high chance the next GTA would have been in parallel development during the late stages of RDR2. Just like how RDR2 is based on GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 6 will develop and improve off RDR2's structure. All right, so the first thing I want to do is kind of dive into what that tech radar article might be because a lot of you guys might not know what that actually was. Uh, the tech radar article that came out in 2016 basically said Rockstar was close to making a Grand Theft Auto Tokyo game and that work has begun on Grand Theft Auto 6. I'll leave a link to that article in the description, but essentially it says, you know, Rockstar was working on Grand Theft Auto Tokyo, Grand Theft Auto Bogota, Colombia, Grand Theft Auto Sin City, which would be Las Venturas or Las Vegas and that they said they realized the difficulty of moving Grand Theft Auto outside of the United States, and that it has been working on Grand Theft Auto 6 since really 2012. So that's the background on that article. And what Test Funds 2 is saying is that Project America's piece of text placed within RDR2, which is not speculation, it's not a leak, it's literally something found in the official files of a Rockstar title, their latest one, it kind of disputes that tech radar leak. So the idea that they were working on a GTA Tokyo or a Sin City or a Bogota is probably old details. So it looks like Rockstar would have already decided GTA's location by then if that piece of text was added in 2016 or 2017. In fact, that's the first thing that Rockstar does is they decide how the map is going to work. And in order to decide how the map is going to work, they obviously have to know what city they're basing the whole thing off. So he says that GTA 6 would have been in parallel development during the late stages of RDR 2, and now it's probably full steam ahead. And he suggests the game is going to be similar to RDR 2, obviously not in terms of like Cowboys and Outlaws, but if you liked the feel of RDR 2, like the engine and how the world reacted to you, you're probably going to like Grand Theft Auto 6 because it will develop and improve off of RDR2's structure. Now, there's going to be things that are completely different, and there's going to be things that are built upon better, just like what RDR2 did versus GTA 5, but the structure is going to be very similar. That's what Rockstar is going to base things off of. And this gets me very excited for GTA 6, because Red Dead Redemption 2, in my opinion, at least from the single-player front, is my favorite story mode title and campaign of all time. And apparently I'm not the only one because someone said, you know, it's such an obvious statement, but reading this makes me realize how great GTA 6 is going to be as it's going to be improving upon RDR2. And he said, just imagine RDR2's weather system 
or possibly an improved version in GTA 6. It definitely gives substance to the whole idea of America's codename, suggesting the next GTA will feature cities in South America as a part of the main plot, and boost the legitimacy of rumors suggesting the cities will be spread by large distances of water, in other words, various islands. And the animations within RDR2 improved significantly to the point that I believe a modder was able to mess with them and come up with tons of interesting results. So the weather was incredible in RDR2, and it had to be, because you had snow, and you had the desert, and you had these tropical lush islands all in the same world. We don't see that in GTA 5. Yes, there's isolated areas like North Yankton that might be always snowy, but as far as the weather in the same map, it's all the same. So if the Project America's codename is true, which has us going from American cities like Vice City and Liberty City to South America and Central America and various islands, you're going to need different weather patterns than what you see on the mainland versus what you see on a tropical island. And obviously separated by large distances of waters, the weather that you're going to have just scattered about in the ocean, that's obviously going to be different than what you see closer to land too. And then all the animations that Rockstar improved within RDR2 that they're going to improve upon with GTA 6, this really just does get me excited. And quite frankly, I hope it is Project America's. That honestly does sound kind of fun, especially if it tackled two cities that would be super fun to revisit, Vice City and Liberty City. And then obviously going to a part of the world in which Grand Theft Auto has never done before, South America, Central America, that sounds even more exciting. And how it might be involved with, you know, whatever gang or crime syndicate or cartel might be down there, or we might be involved in. It just sounds really cool. This whole thing gets me very excited. And the fact that it's building upon RDR2's amazing world that's something I'm even more excited about. So I'd obviously love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about everything we discussed in this video today. Red Dead Redemption 2's Project America stuff. How GTA 6 will be building upon RDR2. Does that get you excited or not? Let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. Or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send messages, photos, videos, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.